Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. This is Ali from AW Zwaraga bringing you yet another amazing video for today. Today, right now, I'm present in Gulzare Sadiq uh, Park, right in the heart of Bahawalpur. I had been wondering uh, for quite a few days that you know about the price of DSLRs these days. Now, the average DSLR costs between 700 to 4,000 US dollars, which is, frankly speaking, not affordable for a lot of people. A lot of you uh, guys out there, or people like me, I also made an effort to get this DSLR, save some money, and finally got it. However, there is one tool that everybody has in their hands, and that is a cell phone these days. So today, in today's video, I'm going to give you seven tips on how to use your cell phone to up your photography game a bit. Now, we fail to understand that this uh, tool right in my hand offers immense amount of flexibility and power once it comes to photographs. So I'm going to give you seven uh, tips to improve your photography uh, with the cell phone. So today's video is all about that. Watch till the end. Don't skip the video because I'm going to be giving you an eighth tip, which is going to be a bonus tip for you guys today. If you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons so that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. So without any further waiting to do, Let's get you started in the video. Coming up. Righty, so I'm here with the first step. The first step, ladies and gentlemen over here, is to get to know the in-camera software that you have on your phones. What we do is we take the phone out, point and start shooting and pressing the shutter button without actually getting to know the controls that are available on your uh, smartphone uh, software camera system so get to know the software get to know the various settings inside it how the shutter plays out how the ISO affects your image the shutter speed the aperture settings the various options the various filters that are available inside uh, the camera software that you have so play around with them if you want an in-depth detail on what ISO shutter speed and aperture means I've got I've got three videos made in my camera basic series for beginners go check that out that's really gonna help you I'll link a card for those videos up over here or over here do get a accustomed with the camera software that you already have installed on your cell phone. All right, tip number two, the cell phone lens system over here uh, captures a lot of dirt, grease, grit, oil, your fingerprints. Do make an effort to clean this lens surface over here before you take a photograph. Now, in order to do that, you can use a, a soft cloth, a lens cleaning cloth, or you can use your hoodie or t-shirt to clean it in emergency cases. That's going to make hell of a difference in your photograph. Righty, so coming over to the third tip. The third tip for you guys is to use the rule of thirds. Now, in order to use the rule of third inside your camera, you need to first switch on the grid lines that are pre present uh, in the camera software system that you have. Now these grid lines are basically two vertical and two horizontal lines that divide your camera screen into nine equal parts. Now placing your subject on the intersection of one of these lines is going to give you amazingly interesting results for your viewers out there. Always use the rule of thirds wherever you're taking a photograph or going close to a subject or photographing any subject. The rule of thirds is really going to bring that life out inside your photograph, give that nice and new perspective look to the photographs that you're trying to capture. So I'm going to take two photographs. Now this uh, first photograph that I've taken is without applying the rule of thirds. The subject is simply centered in the frame uh, and I just snapped it. In this second picture, I have applied the rule of thirds and tried to place the subject on the intersection of uh, one of the lines. So you can see the difference that it creates. It, it instantly generates that intro uh, for the viewer to you know stick to the photograph and see it a bit more and appreciate what you have done with it that was rule number three for you guys all right guys tip number four is symmetry now human brain is hardwired to appreciate and you know feel good about anything that is symmetric that's ingrained inside our brains so whatever you do keep your photos and keep your frame as symmetric as possible look for those architectural straight lines and follow them in your frame keep your camera straight and shoot the symmetry is really going to push your photograph a bit more towards the better looking category of photos out there so utilize your own eyes to see the subject keep the frame straight and then shoot <clears throat> i'm going to show you two photographs one is not symmetric and the other is symmetric you see the difference yourselves. Let's show you the photographs. This photograph that I've taken is a non-symmetric photograph in which I've not taken care of the symmetry. It's just a simple photograph snap from random angle. Now over here in this other photograph, I have taken care of the symmetry. Now see the difference, how good the other one looked. All right guys, tip number five right here is to utilize or use different angles for your photograph. Now, if you're photographing like a common uh, human being, you're just gonna take your phone out, point and shoot. Now, this is the most common angle that a lot of us use, which is the eye level. So we are accustomed to the eye level of shooting things. That's how we perceive, that's how we look at the world around us. So go high uh, on a subject. 
try to shoot it from a higher angle go low on a subject try to shoot it from a lower angle you'll get a very different perspective of the same subject that you are trying to shoot uh, go right go left go completely around your subject to find that sweet spot to find that you know that final angle which is going to give your photographs a beautiful look and a nice perspective for the viewers to stick there and keep watching so experiment with various angles now i'm going to show you two photographs that i've taken one is just a simple photograph on the eye level in which i've centered the subject inside the grid lines that i have now the other photograph is of the same subject with a different angle applied in this photograph i'm going a little low on the angle so you can see the difference uh, just by changing the angle of the lens or the camera that i have is having on the photograph and the subject all right guys tip number six uh for you over here is to utilize all available lenses on the camera system that you have now the phone that i'm using is the xiaomi redmi note 9s it has a five camera system uh five lens camera system available inside it now most of the cameras out there have either a wide angle lens they also have an option for a macro and depth of field sensing lens they have you know a couple of other lenses too so when you whenever you're trying to shoot uh, or establish a scene or you're trying to capture the whole uh, you know perspective of the area in which you're shooting you should go for a wider lens inside your camera system it's very easy to choose you can uh, you know move around in the options shoot wide if you're shooting a wider area a wider perspective now if you want to go close to the sub subject you're like you're really trying to shoot something at a macro level use the macro lens available inside your camera that's going to give you that detail on the subject that's going to bring out the detail uh, inside the subject that you want your viewer to see the normal lens of course is the simple point and shoot just take it out uh, apply the rule of thirds apply the rule of odds we'll talk about the rule of odds later and just shoot so experiment with the different lenses that are available inside uh, the camera system that your cell phone has all right the seventh tip that i'm going to give you is very very important the seventh tip for you guys is that always edit and post process your photographs that you've taken from uh, your cell phone now once you edit and post process the photographs it's going to add life to your photographs it's going to add that feel inside your photographs the emotion you're trying to convey that is going to be done through post processing and editing you can do that inside your cell phone there are various free softwares available from the play store if you want me to give you two recommendations i use two softwares one is snapseed and the other is lightroom i use both of them to post process and edit my photographs before posting on instagram on facebook or whatever or for a client or whatever i'm shooting all right now coming over to the bonus tip that i have for you guys that bonus tip ladies and gentlemen is to entice interest inside your photos now the viewer is going to stay on your photograph look for a few seconds only if he finds something of value and interest something that he can connect to something that he can emotionally relate to now picture is basically a voiceless uh, expression of your mindset of your feeling your emotion at that very moment in which you're trying to capture a particular frame or a photograph or a subject if you're able to convey that emotion if you're able to convey that feel your job is done you can play with the negative emotions inside your photographs as well as positive emotions inside your photographs to entice the interest of the user so that should be your aim uh, whenever you're taking a photograph don't don't just go random you know shooting subject at eye level here and there plan your shot it should have that feel it should have that emotion that was the eighth tip for you guys all right guys those were seven tips plus a bonus for you guys right here uh this channel has crossed around 100 subscribers all thanks to you guys all thanks to your support i'm really surprised at the speed at which we have attained 100 subscribers i know it's not much but it is something for me uh since i'm i'm the creator on this channel and i really really love when people you know appreciate my work people like my work if you guys are new to the channel do leave a like do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons so that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff i'll be coming up with a lot of videos uh, soon do leave in the comment section below if you want any other tutorials or videography tutorials related to the cell phone this is aw pixorega signing off for now see you in another video real soon bye bye